Hi, it's Rocket Richard from Astro Pi Mission Control here, and I'm going to show you how to quickly make an animation as part of your Mission Zero entry. Right now, you can see I'm in the Mission Zero code editor, and I've already added in the Python code to display a picture of a crocodile. But I want to make this a bit more interesting by having the crocodile open and close its mouth when I run my program. To do that, I'm going to add a second frame or picture to the program. To start off with, I'll copy the existing picture we have of the crocodile and add that in down below. I'm just going to make sure I give that a different name so we, get, we know that that's the second part of the animation. To animate it, I'm just going to remove the middle line of the crocodile's mouth where there aren't any teeth showing and add in another line at the bottom to make it look like the mouse moved up a bit. So I'll copy this line out and add it at the bottom. I need to make sure I add it before the closed bracket though. So first of all, I'll put my cursor before the closed bracket, hit the enter or return key to get a new line and then paste in that line above. And just for tidiness, I'll delete that blank line. I also need to make sure I add a comma in to this line here that was originally the, the last line of the animation, but now is the second from last line. And I can delete the comma from the last line. Also, at the moment, this line has uh, two green pixels and some black pixels and I'd like them to be all black so I'm going to change those M's to C's. If we look above we can see that M is the forest green colour and C is black. So now I've got two animations. I then need to add in a second sense dot set pixels line to display my second frame. Let's run the program and see what happens. Great, my crocodile has now closed its mouth. But that was really quick. I couldn't really see the crocodile with its mouth open first. That's because these two lines are running straight away one after another with no pause. We need to add a bit of a gap in between them. The starter project already has the, the time library used and the sleep function imported. So I can add in a sleep in between these frames. Let's say one second there and then we'll put in a sleep at the end as well. Now when I run the program, we should see the crocodile with its mouth open and then closed. Mouth open and then closed. Great. Now, if we want to, that to happen multiple times, we can simply add these four lines into a loop. I'm going to have this run 10 times. So I'm going to say for i in range 10, and remember a loop needs a colon for it, then I just need to indent these lines by selecting them all and hitting the tab key. So they're now part of this loop. If I run the program now, you can see the crocodile is opening and closing its mouth and it will do that 10 times. There you go. We've just added a really simple animation to our Mission Zero entry. Why don't you take a look at some of the other images that are part of the starter project and see if you can come up with simple ways of animating those too. Thanks for watching.